Strange things are afoot at the 7-Eleven. It's a good thing I'm chilling here at my house making a video for you guys. And what's it about today? Well, check it out. It's about six weeks since I've been out of the hospital since my foot surgery. And um, all the healing is going pretty good. Everything's going actually, actually pretty great as far as the healing goes. Um, like I said before in the videos, I've been on a strict diet, eating you know only the proper things, making sure I got the proper medication for both my blood pressure and everything else, and everything is really balanced out. My blood pressure's balanced out, my blood sugar's balanced out, and my foot's been healing really, really well. And in fact, today is the last day, I think just one more day, Friday, so Monday, they'll be taking the pick line out. So no longer will I have to look like a Frankenstein you know, monster thing with this thing in my arm, working an IV up every day. I gotta tell you, even though I've been doing this for like six weeks, I am not used to it at all. It's still freaky to get up, you know, and take this thing off your arm and get this thing and flush it out and then hook up this thing, make sure all the numbers are right on this, on this thing, make sure there's no air bubbles in the tube, hook it up in your arm, you know, go ahead, take it out. You gotta flush it a couple double times, make sure everything's clean, hook it back up, you know, for some infection, you gotta wear gloves, you know. <laughs> all in all, it's a crazy thing, but here, check it out. Here is a picture of my foot when I first had the surgery. This is right here, probably a picture about one week after the surgery is the very first pick. And you guys can see it looks crazy. It looks like just something out of like a war movie, like my foot just got blown up on an explosive mine. It's just crazy. I saw it and I really just like freaked out. I was just like, uh, it, it. honestly, when I first saw the picture, it numbed me because it looked so bad. But then here we see another picture. This is about three to two, I think three, three and a half to four weeks into the healing process, you can see that it's starting to close up more, 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 and getting better and better and better. And now here's a picture from just a few days ago, and you can see it's almost all the way closed up. Now, what they've done now is they've had me on this Meta Honey treatment. So basically every other day a nurse comes over, they take my foot, they unbandage it, they take all the stuff off, they scrape as much skin as they can take off without you know making any serious you know debridement like the doctor does. And uh, they take this meta honey and they put the honey all over it. And the honey is crazy because it kills the germs and everything, but it also helps the flesh to heal. So it's like a double-edged sword, and it's like really super duper strong, you know, Manuko honey that if you tried to buy it in the store, it's like a lot of money just to buy this stuff over the shelf. And um, with me, it's been a great help. Now they did say that they were going to do a skin graft, but then after looking at it and how well it's healing, they said I don't need to do a skin graft. And I'm honestly really glad about that because they would have been taking it out of my thigh and I understand it's really painful and that the skin never grows back ever the same, that it grows back and it's always like a different color than, than your normal skin. Like it's like a, like a dark kind of brown color. So that'd be kind of weird too, walking around with a big patch in my leg. So the pain, the patch, I was like, hmm, okay. So when they told me, okay, we're not gonna do the skin graft, I was like, Yes, and the really good news is, is they have said that I should be walking by this year's CES, which is you know basically almost like a, almost a month and a week away from now. So hopefully by then I'll at least be you know doing better. Maybe I don't know if I'll be up you know fully up and running running or anything, but maybe I'll at least be able to walk a little bit better than I can and put a shoe back on my foot and continue the process. So as long as I maintain my diet and all that stuff, that should be good to go. So I have a question for you folks as well if you're watching this video. Um, I'll have a poll too. What would you rather see? A flamethrower burning up a PC or a flamethrower burning up an iPhone. So it would be either be flamethrower versus PC or flamethrower versus iPhone. Please leave a comment down below. There'll be a poll in the video. Please make sure that you guys answer it so I can know what you guys want to see here on the channel. Either way, it'll be exciting. We've got this you know, crazy thing from Elon Musk, one of those company that he invented to like make some crazy product. So it says on it, you know, not a real flamethrower. Well, hey, if it throws a flame and it's got a flame, it's a flamethrower. May not be military grade, but that stuff's still a flamethrower, my friend. I'm telling you, and you'll see we make the video. Yeah, it burns, baby. It burns. So I'm Elric. Thank you very much. I'm healing really great. Thanks to very much to all those people out there who donated and supported me and helped me to get those medical bills and hop past that thing. So thank you very, very much. I'm not completely over the hurdle, but I'm almost there. So things are getting better all the time. Thank you very much for your support. Thanks for watching this video. If you're not subbed, hey, I'd love to see you on the channel, but if you don't turn notifications on, you won't know when I'm making new videos. So have a great day. God bless and peace.